Hey, George. Hey, but I didn't see you there. You look sad. Well. Everything that's been happening in your life recently, the fact that you're walking on two feet at all, I mean, it's amazing. Seriously, George. I've been walking on two feet for most of my adult life. <laughs> <laughs> oh, George. I like you. I like you too. We should make love sometime. George? Yeah, I heard you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you don't know a better philosophy. See, here at Elysium, we believe that open sexual boundaries lead to a deeper honesty. How'd you and Linda feel about that? Anyway, think about being inside me. Talk to Linda. Here you go, sir. Have a great day. Thank you, Thank you very much. And you enjoy that apple. <laughs> Honey, I just sold my first apple. I picked it, I bagged it, and I sold it. Terrific. Uh, our car is at the bottom of a lake. So, George, I hear Eva asked to intercourse with you. What? Yeah. Thanks, Hef. Uh, that was uh, what I was going to tell you. Uh -huh. Apparently, at Elysium, they practice free love. And uh, Eva uh, suggested that we try it. What did you tell her? Uh, no. I said, I said no. I mean, we didn't finish the conversation, but I was about, and I, I will, and did say no. This is just biology. Homo sapiens weren't meant to be monogamous creatures. I don't know. It just, that just all sounds to me like an excuse for everybody just to get into bed together. If you want to pick a fight with your body's sexual chi, it's just going to drive it inwards. And that invites disease and death. Man, I'm not a fan of death. People treat sex like it's this huge deal with crazy life consequences. 